Hello everyone. In the previous session we had seen uh, different terminologies of ethical hacking. Uh, we had seen four terminologies, hack value, vulnerability, exploit and payload. In this session we will understand four new terminologies of ethical hacking and they are first of all we will understand cyber attack. So what do you mean by, what do you understand by the term attack? Uh, so you see that attack is a kind of malicious uh, you know activity I can simply say that it is a it is a nefarious activity uh, which is done by some uh, this activity performed by a hacker or by an individual or an organization it could be uh, individual or organization it depends on the group or a person who is just hacking someone else uh, what exactly by means of malicious and nefarious it's a kind of activity by which an individual or an organization can exploit or can breach the security uh, of an another individual breach. security breach the security here of another individual so this is a very simple definition of a cyber security uh, sorry cyber attack uh, you see that when I say uh, breach the uh, not only the security but when security says that it consists of a system it uh, could be a resource or it could be a kind of any infrastructure you are having taking from web server or from uh, you know all a network infrastructure you are having so this is a simple definition of cyber attack so when we are dealing with cyber attack another thing comes at comes at in our mind that what type of uh, you know uh, do we have any type of a cyber attack yes exactly we have some types so let's distinguish the types uh, here i'm so sorry this is a mistake here uh, so, yes, i'm so sorry so you see that we have different types of a cyber attack the first type is uh, we call it as we bifurcate as active attack oh i'm so sorry again uh, this is uh, this is active okay i'm on the wrong pan apologies for this this is active attack and uh, another one is basically the passive attack so we have two types of attack and they have different meaning uh, when we when you see uh, the term like active and passive so you see when i dealing with the with something ca called as active attack the meaning of active attack is where attacker modifies something in the another individual system so it, it it is simply the meaning is modification or alteration modification in the in the target system just uh, how can you differ how can you differ it with the help of this simple term term is modification so whenever an attacker attacks something on the target machine he he will modify something he will alter something in the in the target system so it could be uh, ip configuration he gonna change it maybe something like uh, uh, the drive he is going to modify something there might be anything okay so event fever he gonna change something there so modification is there in the target system so and in the term of uh, uh, another one is passive attack in contrast to active we have passive that says it says it, there is no alteration so unalteration in the target system so by means of no modification that means this type this type of attack are going to observe different thing so he will analyze it observe he will observe and analyze so he's very better at uh, this analysis thing will observe an analyst uh, so when he will analyzing he will he will, not, he will he will attempt to learn it okay he will uh, attempt to learn from the result and then later he gonna attack it definitely but he is not going to do any kind of modification in the target system this is an important part so how can you defer it is with the help of these two terms modification and unmodification or unalteration in the target system so this is very clear to you i think so we have cyber attack 
If it says there is a malicious and nefarious activity done by some hacker or, or any hacker organization, and we bifurcate this cyber attack in two parts, active and passive, and they have different meanings. So in the passive attack, we have uh, we can take an example such as sniffing. Okay, sniffing is a good example where you just you are not uh, poking the network, but you are just learning from the from the from the network traffic. Okay, so it's a sniffing example. Active attack it means uh, changing something. I mean there are different types of attack to do it. All right. So uh, now based on the cyber attack, uh, we are having an another kind of uh, you know the terminology. We call it as um, sorry. We call it as a zero day attack. And you had seen in many books this this term. So let's understand what exactly is a zero day attack. So let's understand and I have an analogy for this and I think you had seen this in my previous session as well that suppose I have uh, I have a disease COVID-19 which is right now a pandemic. You see if you if you observe this disease this disease never comes in earlier time okay in early years we never seen it uh, this kind of disease so uh, this is a kind of system i can take in the computer science that this system is never exist in, in in the previous year or in the in the earlier time so if you do not have if you do not if you if you haven't deal with this kind of system then how can you you know how can you get the uh, resolution how can you uh, get the medication so uh, this is a disease which never come in come in early years and that's and that's why and hence we do not have any kind of medicine here right therefore we don't have we don't have solution uh, don't have any solution and the reason is because this disease never be there in the in the previous year we didn't we didn't deal it with in earlier years it's a new disease completely new to me so when a new disease exists then definitely i do not have any kind of solution this is the important part because you haven't seen it how can you create a solution for it if you haven't seen it right so when i deal with uh, cyber security and ethical hacking uh, by means of covid-19 i can i can take the same analogy and i can say that this covid-19 in the term of uh, this uh, uh, ethical hacking i can say that this is a kind of attack here this is a kind of attack which is new to me it never exists in the earlier years it's new it never exists earlier never exist earlier so if this is completely new disease or a new attack for me then definitely you do not have any no solution you do not have any solution for this so now you see that uh, the developers the developers who create patches, right, the fix for an, a kind of attack, they do not have any day to get the solution, okay. So this attack will proliferate and we do not have any solution. So it is going to be impact in a, in a very larger mass. So therefore, if a developer, a patch developer do not have any, any, any day, don't have any day to get fixed, don't have any day to fix it you see uh, so therefore I can say that it is zero day right it's a simple meaning of it so and here a patch developer didn't uh, identify or address any or release any patch it doesn't have any times so therefore it's a zero day and therefore we call it as a zero day attack and I hope now you can understand all right so this is the second definition and let's uh, move on to the third definition and third definition is it's a very simple definition it is known as uh, let's say daisy chaining this term is also being used by many of the uh, many of the book and the course so what exactly this daisy chaining is it is a sequential process remember so if uh, if let's say this is an attack attack part this is an attack one or this is attack one uh, maybe hack one you can say then I'm gonna perform an, another attack maybe I'm gonna perform another attack and this is happening between 
the target system so i'm gonna give a color here so this is my target a single target i'm having and this is performed by a single attacker here so this is my attacker but he is performing uh, the attack several times it's a sequential process so this is one attack then he is going to deal it with second attack and then third attack and then going to reach i mean every attack is going to be reached to target definitely but it is a sequential process of several hacking or attacking attempts to gain access to this target system so i mean uh, so this could be like this or maybe it's something like this it directly goes to the target one if it is not successful then i'm gonna perform the second attack if it is not performed then i'm gonna attack the several i mean the attack three okay or maybe attack four attack five and so on and uh, so uh, you know in in this process what will happen in this attack one he will get some information uh, this information and uh, you, you you keep that in mind that this information is going to help in the attack too so it's going to help in attack too all right so in the now in the next time you will get uh, information from the attack too here the, this is the information from attack two I'm, I, I grabbed it so this information is going to help in the attack three so this is something like this so this is a daisy chaining i hope you can understand it uh, in the same way let's understand the fourth part <clears throat> the fourth uh, uh, definition or the terminology is basically known as bots and uh, this you will you will see in many of the terms in denial of service attack or distributed denial of service attack what exactly by means of bots let's understand it so first of all let's understand what do you mean by denial of service so you see that uh, i will explain you denial of service and the types of attack However, just understand that denial of service is something like if there is a website, okay, so if, if this is a website, I'm so sorry, I had created a different thing. I mean, this is a website and this is Google, let's say. All right, so what will happen is if there is an attacker, and this is an attacker, and uh, you, you, you know that uh, this website is going to be handled by something called as server. So this is my server in general. this is my website and uh, this is going to be handled by one server right this, this is a client server architecture a simple thing now what will happen this attacker if this is a very brutal attack he gonna attack something like a, a denial of service attack so what do you mean by denial of service at a time you are sending like uh, maybe thousand i'm just taking an example here thousand requests to this website so what will happen the load to this not to this website actually to this server is going to be devastated so, uh, and at a time uh, time will come that this server is going to be completely crashed here because of this thousand request at a time so it's it is not like only thousand request maybe he will send another thousand request at a time maybe another thousand request at a time so you see that this is a too much of load to this web server to handle these kind of requests so this is a kind of a scenario of dos attack so denial of service attack now a simple explanation of a ddos attack where this bots comes up let's understand this now D in ddos attack what will happen <clears throat> there is a scenario so this is a scenario let's say this is a pool and what kind of pool it is it is having a pool of uh, you know different uh, attacked machine already attacked machine so there are some machines so i'm gonna put it this way these are several machine i'm so sorry these are several machine already been attacked already hacked okay already hacked and uh, he is going to be owned by this attacker okay this complete pool is going to be owned by this attacker here is the attacker he already had uh this pool is handled by this attacker right so this is already hacked computers of several uh, several users so now what will happen if i have a target here if let's say this is uh, organization website uh, i'm just taking maybe he is going to use for different uh, you know target uh, point but i'm just taking in a website uh, example so if this is a web uh, site and this is a server again the same ana analogy 
so now what will happen here in this case the disadvantage of dos attack is i this server can i mean the owner of this website and the server is going to easily find you you're going to be uh, you know easily find uh, because uh, somewhere in the log you uh, you are being uh, you know logged so therefore now what will happen here in this case in the attacker part the attacker will not send the request to this website he is not going to send any request but instead these computers can you see these computers these already been hacked by this attacker they are they have been maintained by this attacker so he is the completely uh, under the supervision of this attacker they will send the request to this website like maybe thousand thousand or maybe two thousand whatever the numbers you are having you can take any integer value he is going to send the request to this website so now this website owner has some complexity to find this real culprit who is sending uh, the sending the request but now he cannot find this okay so one time he will find the ip address of this computer at another point of time he will find the ip address of this computer at another point he will find the ip address of this computer so it will take some time to find this attacker and that's why this ddos attack is very very uh, you know effective kind of attack distributed denial of service and this is a distributed system so when i say already hacked computer these computer are in general known as bots okay so i i call these computer as bots and these bots are going to help you to send these thousand thousand requests thousand is just a number i'm taking you can take any number um, depending upon your application so these are the requests sent by these bots and making a ddos attack i hope you understand it uh, so thank you so much guys we had seen four definition here and we will see uh, next four definition in the next session thank you so much guys